made a whopping $400,000 for a series of tabloid TV interviews. I put Mrs. Butterfield in her children through so much pain. And who could forget the Long Island Lolita, Amy Fisher. If I could change everything, I would. If I could put my hands over her face and make it go away, I would. She sold the rights to her life story for $60,000 and used the moolah as bail money. It makes no sense. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Then the most infamous of all, O.J. Simpson. He pocketed $880,000 for a book and television interview, money he allegedly spent before the public outcry led to the nixing of the deal itself. So is a free and clear Casey Anthony about to rake in a fortune? Or will public outrage scare off any rich media suitors? Joining me now on the phone, Al Taylor, TV producer, who's offered Casey $1 million for her first TV interview. And Fox News legal analyst Arthur Idella is back with us. All right, uh, Al, uh, are you there? I'm here. Okay, Al, you say that you have a $1 million deal for Casey Anthony's first television interview. I My question. Officially tonight, we have an agreement with Jose Baez. I have provided the written email proof to uh, your producers. We have a verbal agreement. We're coming down this week with my attorney to put a deposit and to put the rest of the money in escrow. She will get the rest of the million dollars when she completes the interview. All right. Now, who is the interviewer going to be and when will the interview be? Okay. The interview will be hopefully as soon as possible. We're negotiating with a few different TV personalities right now to be the host. We haven't signed anybody, but here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do the actual interview. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to hook her up to that lie detector like you want her to. <laughs> And then we all know a sociopath can beat a lie detector, so in the end, you'll love this, we're going to have a judge that's going to decide whether she's telling the truth or not. And I can announce tonight, the judge is going to be noted attorney Jeffrey M. Leving. Okay, all right. So you say that, that you have an agreement with Jose Baez. Is this actually a done deal, Al? It's a done deal. We verbally agreed. We have the emails that show that we have the verbal agreement. He wants to see the money. We're bringing the money down this week. We have an agreement. If anybody else tries to take this deal from us, we're going to end up suing them for breach of contract. We have the deal. We have the money. And unlike Leonard Padilla, I don't speak out of my backside. We have the money, Leonard. Don't worry about it. All right. And um, who, who, where is the money coming from, Al? It's coming from unnamed uh, investors. I'm taking the hit. I'm putting my name out there. I originally made the million dollar offer for the Jerry Springer show as a freelance producer. They ran running to the hills like a little girl when the word got out. I formed my own production company, Private Elevator Productions, and I'm doing it. And I've got private investors that are going to keep nameless. I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to put my name out there because I'm not afraid. All this right, is America, you... land of freedom. There's nothing wrong with making money on this story because it's capitalism. If you have a problem with capitalism, move to socialist look, Europe. Look, look. No, nobody's, no, we're not getting into a discussion of capitalism and socialism. But the, but the question that I have is who's going to sponsor this interview? Who's going to air it? Here's how we're doing it. We're selling the interview overseas and all our markets overseas because there's not going to be a boycott there. We'll probably, Ooh. in the end, give the interview away to a source here in the United States. We'll probably give it away for free so they can say they didn't pay for it. Okay, and so you believe that there will be a boycott in the United States, which is the reason you're taking it to Europe first? Yeah, Europe and Latin America. We'll sell it there. We're going to spend $1.5 million producing the interview, with including her fee. Okay. Then we're going to sell it for at least $3 million, so we'll double the money. And in the end, we'll be able to give it away in the United States for got free. It, got it. Got it. All right. Any. Do you have anything other than an email from Baez? Uh, just my communications with You're, Baez and the email. Okay. I mean, All right, Al. Thank you. Obviously, All right, Arthur. He wants to see the money. We've got the money, Judge. We've got it. Okay. All right, Arthur. Quickly. Yeah, I want to know which station in France or Italy or Spain is going to pay $3 million for the Casey Anthony interview. I mean, if they believe in Europe that there really is a market, they could sell the advertising, the commercials around airing such an interview. I have to be honest with you, not such a bad idea. 
Not such a bad idea if Baez can cash in on this, give her some money, give her a big chunk of money, and then if she then disappears off into the sunset and tries to have a real life, if that's possible. Uh, not a pretty unique. Uh, this is a very pretty unusual. unique, very unusual. Very surprising. I think they should right? make you the judge. Have you cross examined her? <laughs> no, yeah, no I'll cross examine her. I won't be a judge. Arthur, thank you. Thank Thanks you. for being with us. Okay, my thoughts armed guards, bulletproof vests, police on horseback. Officers carrying machine guns, helicopters hovering above, a virtual cavalry in the dark of night escorting Casey to the safety of a dark SUV. It was the kind of protection and dignity reserved for heads of state. But no, Miss Anthony, you're not that important. You're not even famous. You're infamous. There's a difference. Look it up. You can go on with your life now. You'll be able to fend for yourself, unlike a little girl named Kaylee who captured our hearts and our tears and was left to rot in a swamp, her coffin a garbage bag. Many of us will remember Kaylee as a child who never got to experience the excitement of her first day at school, the movies, a date, her high school prom, or the pleasure of living life to the fullest. She was the one who needed the guards. She was the one who needed the cavalry. She was the one who needed protection. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Dad.